Stand by. Go close to the mic. Hello and welcome. I'm Marty Duda. Welcome to Radio 13. I have Erin Cole Baker with me today. She's brought her whole band down from Fongare on a wintry, rainy, cold, windy Auckland day. Very wintry. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Uh, is it is bad up there, the weather, as it is down here? Um, actually, we've, oh, well, half of us have come from down south, which, right? yeah, Raglan and Waikato too, so right. it's been chilly, chilly weekend. Right, yeah, all right. Well, yeah. hopefully the music will warm us up here. Yeah. Um, so you've got a six-piece band traveling around with you, yourself included. Why don't you tell me, first of all, uh, who everybody is in the group? Um, so I've got Sam and Emily, who... Sam plays bass and Emily sings harmonies. Right. Um, there's Alex on keyboard, uh, Matt is playing guitar, right. and Andy on drums. And I think that's it. I that's think I covered everybody. Cool. Yeah. And uh, you have an album out called Till the Feelings Right. Everybody, yep. do most of the folks play on the record? Yes, yes, most of them, except for Matt. But yeah, my brother came and recorded with us up in Whangarei, which was awesome. Ah. Yeah. You don't get a lot of recording going on in Fongare. Eh? It's yeah. always Wellington or Christchurch or, or yeah. Auckland. So yeah. it's, 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 are, are there a lot of studios there? Or you have um, kind of... Not really, but I happen to meet uh, Andy, whose studio it is, and he's a real enthusiast of sound. And yeah, he's put together a really cool studio there, and it's kind of gathered uh, momentum and brought more people in there. And, um, Alex, who co-produced with me, has um, got a, a ton of experience, and yeah, it right. all came together, and it was really cool to record there. Yeah. Because this is your fifth album, so have you recorded elsewhere? In yeah, others? I've recorded um, the last two. I recorded in in the states when I lived there. Right. Yeah. Whereabouts were you living? I was living in Bend, Oregon. Bend, Central Oregon. My brother lived there for a while. Oh, cool. Yeah. I, I won't hold that against you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, and it's a pretty tiny place, isn't it? Um, it's a it's a pretty happening city. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's high desert, and um, yeah, it's just you know blue skies and warm weather yeah. all and summer long, long and then and then snow in the winter. How long did you live in the states? Um, that time? lived there for seven years. Because uh, yeah. you were born in the States, yeah, and then you came to live in New Zealand with your family, so you went back for a little while, huh? Yeah, yeah, I've kind of been in between countries for a lot of my life, back and forth. I have, a, you know, good, strong heart for both countries. Uh, really. Good on you. And good to have um, dual citizenship, always helps. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to hear some, some tunes from you guys, and the first one that we're going to hear is something called Everything Has a Season. So what have you got to tell me about that one? Um, it's interesting to try to condense into a little bit what a song's about, but um, yeah, I've got two young kids, mm -hmm. there, and I had kind of put music on hold for a little while and kind of thought, oh, maybe I didn't have to, I could just put it aside and not have to have it be such a thing, but it kind of was rising up within me again, and I was uh. like, ah, I still need to go for that, it's still really deep within me, and right. kind of... Um, yeah, just about, you know, sometimes you've got to wait to do the things that are really on your heart. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just, there's a season for everything in life. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's give it a listen. We'll come back and talk some more. Cool. Yes. 
Okay, we're back here with Erin Cole Baker and her band. Well, we just have Erin here. We just heard the band playing. Um, and we kind of touched on the idea of recording in Fangare. Uh, maybe you can elaborate on what, it's, what, what it was like in the studio. It was an all analog situation, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we mostly did it live to tape, right? which was such a crazy thing because we'd have, um, you know, everybody set up in the different spaces in the house um, and, you know, you've got the tape on, clean the machine, everything's ready to go and um, there's only so much tape you can use. This so is true. You <laughs> you're going to run out of Press that button real. and it's like, <laughs> crap, I've got to get it so good, you yeah. know. And, um, but also that pressure, once you've all got it, it's just like, whoa, it's so exhilarating once right. you've actually got there. Yeah, yeah, I would so imagine it's more fun. like giving a live performance than, you know, normal studio things where, you know, you can over redo it over and over yeah. again and punch in things and whatever. So. Yeah, and we did do a few overdubs with um, some stuff, but yeah, for the most part it was analog, right. which was, yeah, really cool. And did yeah. you eat up a lot of tape or not? <laughs> we used a little bit of tape, but we were pretty um, conservative, Right. yeah. With just being, you know, it forces you to think differently. You know, you're like, okay, it's only so much, and um, you've really got to get it right. Right, and so I assume you recorded it the other way previously. Yeah. So how did you find it as far as the end result? Did it make a difference? Um, for me, yeah, I just think it just has such a warm kind of way, and it's just so real, mm -hmm. and that's that's just just feels like it's really me, you know? Oh, cool. Yeah. All righty, we've got another song we're going to hear called Hold On Tight. What, yeah. what can you tell me about that one? Uh, that one just kind of came out of the, yeah, just wanting to grab on to the good moments in life because, uh -huh. you know, they're so fleeting. <laughs> and especially with the two kids um, running around, you know, the kids How old are, are your kids? They're three and five. Good God. <laughs> Keep yeah, busy. so you know, it's either just pure joy or absolute chaos. Rock bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, does having the kids around uh, encourage or discourage your songwriting? Um, both. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it quite different because I think before kids having, I would be like, nobody can hear any sort of my process. I'm like locked in a room and they can't hear it until it's absolutely done. But um, yeah, since having kids, you know, I can't even play through a whole song without being interrupted. So right. now I kind of have my guitar in between the lounge and the kitchen and I can pick it up and, oh, if I come across something that's kind of catching my ear, I'll quickly record it right. on my phone and then come back to that at another point. So it's kind of changed the way that I write. But, yeah, okay. Yeah. All righty. Well, let's give a listen to Hold On Tight.
Okay, that was Hold On Tight, Erin uh, Cole Baker and her band. Um, so you guys did some dates around New Zealand uh, when the album first came out. With a big band like that, is it a big mission to get from one place <laughs> to the other? Yeah, I've done it w in various stages of the band. Actually, when I went down to Nelson, I just played with my brother who lives down there. Right, that's yeah, convenient. Yeah, so that's <laughs> nice and easy. And um, yeah, it's definitely a lot of work to take everybody. But it's cool to have everybody here today. I can, yeah, yeah, it is. Definitely, <laughs> it's cool that everybody is here. Yeah. We're going to use our piano as well, so yeah. I'm excited to hear what that's going to sound like. And then you're heading off to the States, you said, in August. Yeah. What are you going to do over there? Um, yeah, I'm meeting with my friend Chris Beeland, and he lives in California, and we're going to do some shows together and just up California and then into Oregon and Washington and um, ending up playing at the Sisters Folk Festival, which is really awesome to get to play at that. Mm. What other kind of artists play at that? Um, yeah, a lot of folk artists right. from the States. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's an awesome festival. I actually first saw it um, before we, my husband and I moved to the States, mm -hmm. and I was searching for folk festivals and found that online. I was like, oh, that's the place to go. And so we made it there 13 years ago, and it's cool to go back and be playing there. Right, yeah. right. And do the American audiences kind of realize that you're from somewhere else, and do they and they are interested in all that, or do they? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was just in the states. Because I'm so interesting. I, you know? I was in the states. <laughs> was it two weeks ago? And uh, wait, in the restaurant, the waitress came up, and uh, we told her that we were from New Zealand, and she said, "Oh, did you drive here?" No. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So there is, the, yeah, you run into that a little bit. Yeah. But. All right, we got one more song, uh, In My Bones. What can you tell me about that one? Um, this is actually the newest song that I've written, and it's, um, so it's after we recorded this album. Uh huh, so it's, and it's yeah. Brand new? Yeah, and it's kind of the most uh, raucous kind of number that I've written so far. <laughs> so you're going to rock out, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's quite cool. Um, yeah, just about just music just getting to me and um yeah being a cool thing to do oh already <laughs> very good okay well thank you for stopping by thanks for the whole band for uh, coming around All thanks guys for out having there. us <laughs> we have a room full of people today it's amazing <laughs> and uh yeah so good luck with the states we'll, thanks heaps. we'll, we'll yeah. hear back from you when you when you do that cool right? thanks Marty. thank you just You keep tapping on my shoulder